What's up guys, this is Sunny, back with another video and today real quick I'm gonna talk about one of the projects like that's kind of like my personal project like nothing to do with like you guys but I wanted to share with you guys anyway basically what I have here and also what I'm planning on buying so I was planning on building a mini ITX gaming PC for my personal use for my entertainment purpose so basically I wanted a small ITX uh, PC uh, in my living room so basically me and my wife sometimes we can play game and you know watch movies and stuff so now it's been a while so I did pick up some parts and you guys can see uh, I have this mini box mini ITX case uh, the model is uh, M350 this case is a bit old but this case is really small so I'm planning on picking up a mini ITX M4 motherboard hopefully the motherboard does have built-in Wi-Fi because the Wi-Fi is really important for me because I don't have any uh, Ethernet cable or any uh, Ethernet access uh, in my living room now I did pick up a Pico power supply so I picked up this Pico power supply this power supply is not all that expensive you can pick up a uh, 12 volt uh, 160 watt pico power supply for around i believe 18 dollar so this power supply is really good for uh, cpu like let's put it this way it's a 65 uh, watt tdp cpu so i have here uh ryzen 3 3200g most likely i'll go with this cpu uh because ryzen 3 3200g does come with built-in vega 8 graphics so you know it's okay for playing uh you know light games and stuff so most likely i'll go with this cpu i was planning on picking up ryzen 5 uh 3400g but i can eh, I, I can just go with this one it's okay now i also have ryzen uh 3 2200g but i'll just stick with ryzen uh 3 uh, 3200g because i personally like the ryzen 3 3200g performance i also had to pick up a power adapter uh for this uh pico power supply and uh, i'll talk about real quick what this pico parcel like comes with but uh, i just want to share with you guys the uh, adapter first so for this pico uh, 12 volt 160 watt power supply you do need a power uh, adapter so this power adapter here is a 12 volt uh, this one also 15 amp so this thing is pretty powerful uh, you can run maybe a 200 watt pico power supply with this uh, power adapter so it's okay now pico power supply does come with the power connector right here and then you have one molex and then one sata and you also have your uh, cpu 4 pin now with this pico power supply you can uh, run graphics card okay this thing is only good for like just a single cpu 65 watt tdp so you can't really push this power supply or treat this power supply like uh you know the full size power supply but for a 65 watt tdp um like uh amd ryzen 3 3200 uh, g or ryzen 5 3400 g this pico power supply is more than enough now mini itx motherboards are really expensive nowadays like i found mini itx motherboard uh through amazon like brand new the one comes with built-in uh wi-fi goes for almost like 150 dollar so i wasn't really looking to spend 150 dollar just because of my you know entertainment purpose you know what i mean so i did check out offer up i did check out facebook market uh craigslist I didn't get any deals like I found motherboards there but you know those doesn't have Wi-Fi and I really need a M4 ITX motherboard with Wi-Fi like I said I have no access to internet like no uh, Ethernet cable or anything in my living room hopefully I get a good motherboard if you guys have uh, any uh, motherboard you want to recommend me like any ITX motherboard cheap uh, I don't mind spending like hundred dollars so if you guys know any uh, good ITX M4 motherboard for like hundred dollar I don't mind picking one up you know share link with me I'll be more than happy to buy one uh, and most likely I would like to buy from Amazon because I have some save a uh, gift card there so i can use that now guys uh today's video is basically i'm just sharing with you guys uh the type of parts i have and only thing i'm missing right now i'm missing just the uh, ram uh, so i'll just pick up maybe 3000 megahertz ddr4 ram so ram i'm missing ram i'm missing motherboard and a cooler uh, 
I don't know if I, I don't know, uh, most likely maybe I'll install my stock AMD cooler because if you guys do watch one of my video, I'll, maybe I'll leave a link in the video description. Like I used this case before and I, I had a Ryzen 3200G in this case. So I'll, maybe I'll put the link somewhere in the video description so you guys can see. So most likely I'll use a stock uh, cooler. If not, maybe I'll get aftermarket cooler. You guys can recommend me which cooler I should get. I need a low profile cooler uh, for this uh, build. So guys, uh, if you guys uh, do like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also if you're watching me for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're excited, just like me, stay tuned. Uh, the part two of this video, you guys will see uh, the build and also I'll talk about uh, other stuff. Oh, and maybe I'll go with this uh, Sandisk uh, 240 gig SSD this one uh, SanDisk Ultra 2 SSD uh, if not maybe M.2 so there quick update video stay tuned and see you guys next one peace